Hi gorgeous queens, if you want to see how I went from this to this, then stay tuned. Okay, I'm thinking of putting contacts in. I do love my eye color, but for this video, I'm like, why not go, go all out? I don't have blue contacts with me, but I do have a different color that is a bit lighter. So I'm like, let's just, let's just do it. I did have blue contacts. I just don't know where they are at the moment. So that's okay. Let me put these in and I'll be right back. <laughs> As you can see, there were some tears in the battle. There were some tears. So I've... Uh, uh, uh. So I just went in and primed my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Original. I just really love this primer. So let's get on to the eyes. I don't have the Buxom palette, but I have similar shades. So let's just get to it. And it seems like a really beautiful, simple look with some eyeliner. So let's do it. So I'm taking this Mer... Mer I don't know how to pronounce it. Mary Nisi? I'm taking this palette. I'm not even going to bother trying pronouncing it because I don't know how. And they have these beautiful shades. And I think I'm going to start off by taking this shade right here. I don't think they have names, but I'm just going to do it. It looks so beautiful and like a very nice shimmery gold shade. And I'm going to actually start by applying this all along my lid. Oh, that's gorgeous. How pretty. Okay, this is a really nice shade. I was a bit worried. I'm going to actually go over my whole lid because it does look like she's got it quite far out everywhere. How pretty is that? Oh my gosh. Do I look weird, by the way, with my contacts? Especially because my under eyes are so red right now. Crazy. I genuinely can't get over how pretty that looks. Anyway, also it looks like she's got more of a shimmery part. So I'm going in with this shade here. And I'm going to take the other side of the brush. And I'm really just going to be focusing that in the inner corners so that just really kind of opened it up i'm going to go in with the brush and then i'm going to use my hand too because i'm not sure if this is a bit of a different formula <laughs> i love that i love that i love that okay so now i'm going in with this clientele palette from b from jar and be perfect bh B, i always say bh but it's be perfect i don't even know why i say that so I'm actually going to be taking Dirty Tan and Sandy. They're my two obviously used shades. And I'm going to be taking that on this Morphe brush. It's just a fluffy brush. And I'm really just going to very lightly start defining my crease. Update on my eyes. It doesn't feel as bad anymore, which is good. And I'm just going to be very light with this because the thing is I have a lot of lid space. I don't have a lot of crease space. So I don't want to bring it too high up because hers doesn't look like it's too high up. So I'm really just going to be blending that into the shades. I meant shimmers and I said shades. A little tip is instead of like lifting your eyebrow up because see when it goes back down, it changes the shape. I like to like tilt my head back and do it. She didn't really have it so far in. It was more on the outer part. So I am going to focus it on the outer part. Gosh, you know when there's like something in your eye and you just feel like it's so itchy and you just want to scrape your whole eye out just so it doesn't hurt anymore. How about I just notice that these are sort of blue? <laughs> wow, Jess, I clearly can't see. So now I'm going to go in with my BYS liner. I'm not going to do it too thick because it looks like it's quite thin. And she has a little flick. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. See how an eyeliner just changes the whole eye? Let me do the other side and I'll be right back. So just before I put on my lashes, I'm using this Waldo Skin Light Cream. I really like it. It just makes my skin feel really nice. It smells good. And I want this to kind of settle into my skin before I go in with my foundation. I'm gonna pop on my half lashes real quick. These are how they look. Very small, very nice. And I don't want them to flip out too much. You really wanna make sure your edges are like pushed in because if they're not, it actually can look a bit weird. Um, but we'll come back to the eyes. Let's start the skin. I am low-key breaking out. So now I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty, what is this? The Pro Filter Soft Matte. I really like this foundation. I know some people didn't, but I do. And I'm not going to take a lot. And I'm just taking it on a flat brush. And I'm really just going to start pouncing that all in my skin. Oh, one of my favorite parts in the world is concealer. I'm going in with this Too Faced concealer. 
it's not too light which is why i like it but at least i won't look like a little raccoon it was cute for a while but i'm over it and i'm just gonna start blending that in get rid of these raccoon eyes getting rid of them as we speak oh my god oh god before I put on my bronzer, I'm actually going to put a bit of blush. I want to put a cream blush on. This is Naughty and Spice by Nude Stick. Just like on the high points. I like this blush because it really is so subtle and it's just beautiful to blend. I'm actually just going to use my fingers to blend. It's one of my favorite ways to blend this. See how it's so natural? You can like barely tell it's there, but it's really nice in real life. So now I'm going in with my favorite powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me, and I'm actually using a powder puff. It doesn't look like she's got too much shine on her, but she does have a little bit. So before I put on my bronzer, I want a powder, and I'm just taking the back of this Laura Mercier sponge. It's one of my favorite ways to powder lately. I'm just going to start under my eyes. And just lightly do the rest of my face. I thought there was like a hair on this. I'm like, what the hell? I'm just lightly going around the rest of the face. I'm not going back in with powder. I'm actually dusting off any. Because I don't want this to be too matte. So I'm going to be mixing the Hula Bronzer with the NYX. I personally love the NYX. It is a bit too dark. It doesn't look like hers is a bit that dark. But... Why not? And then I'm really just going to start by pressing this in. I just want to kind of keep it light, not too full on. Because it does look like her skin is very more, like, it's very seamless. Very more. Come on, Jess. English has just gotten the best of me today. Contour it a little bit, especially because her nose looks quite slim. She does have a very cute slim nose. So I'm just very lightly going to use a hula bronzer to just contour a bit now for her eyebrows it looks very like i love her eyebrows i'm really just going to be focusing on the outer part i have quite long eyebrows so i don't want to make them too long because her eyebrows don't look that long but i mean my face is obviously different so i'm using the anastasia brow wiz dark brown the only reason i'm using dark brown is because i feel like it matches my hair i'm just starting with a line at the bottom and then i'm going to really sharpen it and darken it towards the end but i want to keep the front very natural because when i just looked at hers it looks very natural just giving myself a little arch nothing crazy and then i'm just going to very lightly fill in these little gaps Just like that and then i'm going to brush it up again and do you see how like it kind of looks like a gradient but a natural gradient that's kind of what i want just because looking at her photo it looked similar to that just like that my eyebrows need to clean so please don't don't mind them let's just quickly finish the eyes off i'm going in with this mecca max um waterline pencil in what is this wake up call it's just a very nice nice nude liner and this is really going to open up our eyes okay so do you see how my eyes just look so much more awake i love that so i'm going back in with this fluffy brush and i'm going back in with the be perfect cosmetics palette and i'm going back in with jody tan and sandy and i'm just gonna very lightly place that right under my lash line I don't know how sometimes I do this. Wow, my face is just gorgeous. Last but not least for the eyes, I am going to curl my lashes more towards this section because that part's pretty curled. I'm using this individual lash curler from Model Rock. I'm just doing two pumps. So what I do is I do this section and then I do the middle to kind of make sure it's all going the way I want. And then I would just do like one little pump just so I know that the lashes are stuck together. And we're gonna be coating our top and bottom lashes. So I'm gonna start off, I also like to go over my falsies because they look a bit more natural. And I'm just gonna kind of go in. I personally love bottom mascara. 
my lashes aren't hugely long but there are little tricks to make them look long i'm gonna line my lips with the will lip liner from mac this is a little bit dark but i feel like she's got a very slight uh dark shade so this is kind of very similar to my skin tone By the way, I'm so excited to do my hair because it is crazy looking. I'm gonna mix a few shades because it's a very cute nude. So I'm going in with this Emco Dream Lipstick. That is really nice. I feel like hers though has a bit more pink. So. If you know me, I always mix shades. I'm gonna mix a bit of this bare lipstick. It's in Bougie, it's a really nice shade. And I know it's sweet, but I'm only gonna put it on the bottom. This on top, it's the Killing Me Softly lipstick by Lancome. And I think on top of the nudes, it might look really good. Oh my eyes. I'm also gonna put a bit of this Barbie lip gloss on because she does have a bit of a shine. Just putting a little bit. All right, guys, let's do the hair. Let me change and let me do my hair one sec. Okay, so I've put on my top because I don't, unfortunately, have a dress like that. I really need to get one because what the hell. Okay. I don't want to just wet my hair because I feel like it's going to literally dry in two seconds. So. <laughs> I'm going to get in with this top gel. I use this on shoots for when I, um, I'm doing like a wet look. So I'm gonna just fucking go in. So you need a lot, especially for my hair. All right, we're getting somewhere. Okay, now for my body, I'm actually gonna be using this Tom Ford Shimmer Body Body Oil. You can literally use anything that you like. The key is to really just spray it close, and then you go in like with a dense brush. Um. Really just work that in. Alright gorgeous queens, this is the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. My hands are all sticky and my hair is crazy, but that's okay because it's worth it. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and let me know what look you want to see next. And I will see you later. Bye queens.